psychologist. I was trained as an experimental social psychologist. So I do work on human judgment and decision making, particularly the errors and biases that people show when they make judgments. And really what changed my research was you know, this hyper-partisan political environment. And just looking at that and saying, well, what's going on there? And what a great example of how people's emotions are affecting their judgments. How is it that our sort of moral feelings and our moral visions change the way that we view the world? The theory that we work with, it's called moral foundation theory. The basic idea is there's kind of five things that people care about, about harming other people, particularly weak people, about fairness, about loyalty to family and things like that, authority and tradition, and the way things used to have been done, and purity. So this notion that there are certain states of being that are pure. And these five concerns across the world, you see these in all sorts of different cultures, but different groups differ in how much they weight each of those different kinds of factors. Liberals essentially care about two things, harm and fairness. If it doesn't harm somebody, or if it isn't unfair, then it's morally okay. But political conservatives tend to weight all five of these things as important. So they, they care about harm and fairness, but they also care about group loyalty, about authority and tradition, and about purity. If you look at libertarians, they're low on everything. So they, their worldview, in a sense, isn't a deeply moral worldview. It's more of a pragmatic, utilitarian worldview. And you apply that to different political topics, you can see sort of where these differences come from. So one of the things that my research group uh, has been interested in is in the, the psychology of libertarianism as that's kind of grown in prominence. The chief concern is that the government leaves people alone. It sort of accepts that there's winners and losers in an economic game. So we created a website where people could go and fill out psychological scales. But we had this huge sample of people who claim to be libertarians. Libertarians are psychologically different. So classic situation is you let your kid your kid goes off to school and you realize they didn't bring their homework. The libertarian version is let's, they will learn a lesson and they'll never forget their homework again because some, you know, they'll be there and they'll be very upset. And if you look at their psychology, it kind of fits really nicely with that. They tend to be kind of self-oriented. They're lower in empathy than both liberals and conservatives. So they just don't feel other people's pain in the same way. You may be better able to accept life's losers, you know, the less you suffer vicariously with them, then that's easier to adopt that, that philosophy. And so your moral vision tells you what, you know, what your ideology should be and what the facts are. And that's exactly what we find across all, you know, all these differences. We were able to compare them on 20 or 30 different personality types, liberals, conservatives, and libertarians. Which morals are most important to you? Do you think they shape how you vote? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to Figure One.